jinns used to from a very old time and they were here when the jinns were residing on the earth and there was no humans on the earth they were on this earth and they were causing a lot of mischief on the earth and when a messenger would come they would kill that messenger and the story goes that he had already announced to the angels he said i'm going to create a man from dirt Iblis finds out that he can flow into the body of Adam salam. His heart starts to develop a feeling. And it's the feeling of jealousy. He turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, I swear by your honor. He says, because you misguided me, I'm going to turn all of them away from your deen. People were engaging in the worship of the devil. People were worshiping the jinn kind. Sulaiman salam got hold of the jinn kind, gathered all the books of magic, and where was the safest place to put all these books? Under his throne. Magicians, fortune tellers, palm readers, and some people who pretend to be pious, but because of the shirk they make, shaitan cooperates with them. So the jinn is telling him, the shayateen is telling him about these things. So people will believe it, and they will go astray. They believe someone had knowledge of the unseen. Now, can we attribute now when people, this paranormal activity going on in some of these, they say haunted houses, they felt like a presence of something, something even by the graveyards. Can we pinpoint it as Muslims that this is the work? And again, these are based on true story incidents where people get possessed by the jinn, these, uh, can you say evil spirits? What's the proper way of getting this jinn out? There would come in the end of time great liars to the point where they are false Christs claiming to be false prophets would lead you astray and they will come to you with a type of speech that you nor your parents have ever heard of before. We begin to see the climax of a major change in society the climax of a new world order. Amongst them, Shaytan, he will stand, and he will stand on a mimbar made of fire, and he will address the people. Allah made a promise to you. Allah had promised you certain things, but Allah's promise was the truth. I also promised you certain things, but I lied to you. I broke my promise to you. And the greatest suffering of all, look where you are today. 